Welcome to the Scottish Building Society pre-season friendly as Edinburgh Rugby welcome London Scottish and this is going to be the first outing for Edinburgh Rugby ahead of the 22-23 campaign as the players look to impress Mike Blair ahead of what's going to be another challenging season ahead. They've got the return of Jamie Ritchie which is uh, well received after seven months out and they've also got some exciting debuts and a lot of blend of youth and experience to come off the bench. But I'm going to be your host and commentator Dale Clancy. I'll be taking you through the match highlights so I hope you enjoy the game. Welcome along to Dam Health Stadium for the first of two pre-season games for Edinburgh Rugby and the opponents here this evening in the Scottish Building Society. Pre-season friendly is London Scottish as they make their way onto the pitch. As Edinburgh fans welcome the home side onto the field led by Talisman Jamie Ritchie, 85 appearances for his hometown club as the referee Ben Blaine gets play underway. And it's been gathered well by Noah Ferdinand as he passes the ball back into the 22, so London Scottish can clear their lines. And it's now back in an Edinburgh hand. We'll be relieved of that. It is Charlie Shield. Now the play is broken up. That gets the off holding. Good hands. Now it's found Jake Henry as he looks to try and break free. Dances back in field there. Ferdinand wrapping his opposite man up. And Shield looking to keep the tempo high. Jimmy Ritchie. Now Shield on to Savala. Savala passing out the back there. Good offload in play there. Now Immelman. Immelman's got Blaine back inside. He's got support there. He's got the run of Charlie Shield in support. Can he outstretch the defence? He's been stragged. Short of the line, but Immelman in support. Pop up from the scrum half. And he's going to go in for the opening score of the game. Henry Immelman returning to the side after a layoff with a knee injury. Gets the opening try in this game. And it was from deep inside their own half. Managed to get the ball through the hands. And great interlinking play from Jack Blaine. Charlie Shield with the support in line. Did well to get the ball off the ground. Into the support in line of Immelman. And he gets the opening score. The conversion attempt successful as well for the home side. And it's an additional two points from an Edinburgh player looking to support the fullback, and now Chamberlain, Chamberlain found McCallum, McCallum gets the offload there, Hayden Hyde was in support, and now London Scottish, looks like they found some space over on that far side, and it is going to be a reply score after some good work from McCallum. The fly half makes a, a good connection with that, and the assistant referees are happy, hoist their flags in there, and it's two points for Chamberlain, and the scrums. Looking steady on both sides as Petrosi goes up the blind side. Chamberlain finds a runner there and it's a very tight line from Hayden Hyde. And I think Hayden Hyde is going to go in, in the corner. The outside centre as easy as you like from London Scottish. And they coast in for another score. And that was a simple first phase move from London Scottish. Managed to find the space on the blind side. And an acute line from Hayden Hyde, the big lanky outside centre. Showed that he's got pace in abundance, outstretched the defence. And it's a more challenging kick than his first one. But this would extend London's Scottish lead in 16 minutes. A good connection again. The flag stayed out. It's a misconversion attempt, but London Scottish remain in the lead. The heavy's been asked to try and set this platform up for London Scottish as they suck in this Edinburgh defence. Look to find the space out wide yet again. It's Josh Gillespie coming off his wing and making good ground there. London Scottish again knocking on the door of this Edinburgh defence. Floating the ball out wide, it's went over the head of Jack Blaine and it looks like London Scottish are going to go in for yet another score. And it is Noah Ferdinand who gets the try. Working hard off his wing. And it was patient play from London Scottish, the visitors, using the forwards to good effect, sucking in that Edinburgh defence. And the Edinburgh defence again looking very, very fragmented in the open spaces. These wide positions are, have been very, very fruitful for London Scottish so far. Right footy kick from Chamberlain. And again, 
It just drifts wide. Scottish doing well to secure the ball, doing really well at the breakdown, getting the ball back. On most occasions, now Ferdinand, he's got some space back inside. He's got Robbie McCallum, he juggles the ball. He's got support back in field and it's Petrosi. He's going to go over the line for another score. Now, Harry Shepard gets a chance to add the extras with his first conversion attempt of this evening's Scottish Building Society pre-season friendly. And it's successful. Shield now, looking to get closer and closer. Now Orterac almost opened up there for the prop, but it was closed quickly by the London Scottish defence. Now McBurney getting there. Edinburgh players trying to nudge their teammate over the line. Now Phillips. Shield looking to try and find Blaine. Blaine manages to run that acute line and get underneath the post for a score. Working hard off his wing. And Jack Blaine gets a score. It'll give Edinburgh some momentum as Savala splits the kindling with a conversion. Put down. And again, good link up play from the big forwards as Savala manages to break the line. And McBurney's there in support. Manages to keep his feet well as he looked like he was going to trundle towards the ground. He keeps up strong and gets the ball back as Savala recycles himself well. Finds the gap. Boyle in support. Boyle has found Jacob Henry who manages to dance. Right then left and going in the corner and it's two quick fire tries for Edinburgh Rugby and Jake Henry gets his try. After an industrious first half he manages to close what should be the final try of this first half and put a respective scoreline after a, a very difficult first 40 minutes for the home side. It is Jake Henry. And you've got to look back to the likes of Sykes who was acting as a pivot in the build-up to that play. Found Savala who manages to burst through. Finding Boyle in support. And Jake Henry had the, the relatively simple job of being there in support. And like all good wingers, knows his way to the try line. And the right-footed kicker will try and eat away at this London Scottish lead. And that is a brilliant kick from the main stand touchline. To take the score at half time, it's Edinburgh 21, London Scottish 24. Just here at the DML, uh, the first half started a bit off with uh, some critical finishes. We didn't finish. Uh, we spoke about converting in the 22, uh, especially from last season, we could have learned. I think just before the half time, um, it just got a lot better. Um, you can see with a few tries, very important tries. I think to kick off the second half with a quick try, that'll be immense as well. It's just about finishing uh, the tries off and um, holding momentum for us, not against us, because it's uh, in our own control. It's not something that London Scottish is doing particularly well. Uh, I do think they chuck the ball around very well. Um, just a bit more connection, spacing wise, about me. And um, it's a big, it's a good shot, but I think second half, the boys will be out for it. And London Scottish get play back underway as Ben Blaine shrills his whistle. Run oncoming support as Harrison does well to pivot. Purgos mixes it with Blaine who manages to throw the dummy. Go in field and he's going to go alone. And he's going to go in for a score for Edinburgh. It's his second try of the evening for Jack Blaine. And he sights through the London Scottish defence and manages to get in. And Edinburgh for the first time in a long time retake the lead here. And it is now Edinburgh 26, London Scottish 24. He's got another stab at the sticks here. And this kick would extend Edinburgh Rugby's lead, but it's just squirmed to the right hand side of the post. They make it scrappy on the floor and frustrate the visitors, but London Scottish doing well to bring the ball back on their side as Ben Blaine lifts his arm for the advantage to London Scottish. A free ball to play with here. There's nothing digging the ball out of the breakdown. It's now come through the hands and it is into space. And it's Cam Anderson who goes over for the score. It goes to the left hand side of the post. It's a look like a nailed on two pointer for London Scottish. The porous, there is gaps in both sides defence as they look to try and work on different combinations and different partnerships ahead of the new season. And there's certainly no gaps there, but it was well offloaded off the floor. And Cam Anderson just not able to find the final gap to get over the line but now there's numbers up and it's Ingle he manages to get the ball into the hands of Cam King and Cam King is going to go in in the corner 
for a score. Mike. The London Scottish and supporters who are just in front of me in the commentary position and certainly come with uh, good vocal support is Slevin. Gets boot to ball and that looks a lot better than his first attempt, but it just again snakes to the right-hand side of the post.